Hello everyone, you are watching my YouTube channel, Chemistry by Sadhanwar. My name is Sadhanwar. Today we have to discuss a past paper question that is from the topic amount of substances. This is the challenging questions. I have started a series where I'm going to discuss just challenging questions. This is question is from AQA A level chemistry. Question number 11. I would share the paper link as well for this particular question it's important to focus on question not my videos i am going to close my camera now so that we can focus on this question particularly fine guys question is this a student does an experiment to determine the percentage by mass of sodium chlorate this is the method and the part a which we have to solve basically use all the information given to calculate the percentage by mass of NaClO sodium chlorate to the original bleach solution. So the formula which we have to use to calculate percentage by mass of NaCl, NaClO is equals to mass of bleach Mass of bleach in 100 cubic centimeter. Mass of bleach in 100 cubic centimeter divided by mass of bleach in original solution, which, which is 10 cubic centimeter. In that particular question, the challenging thing is to find mass of bleach in 100 cubic centimeter. While to find mass of bleach in original solution, that is quite easy. So let's start with easy part. If you will find the mass of bleach in original solution, which is 10 cubic centimeter, then it's easy to solve this question. First, let me make a hypothetical picture that will help us to understand the procedure, the method. So guys, dilute 10 cubic centimeter of sample of bleach solution to 100 cubic centimeter with distilled water. We have 10 cubic centimeter bleach solution. We have to dilute it by adding distilled water to 100 cubic centimeter. Then we have to transfer from this 100 cubic centimeter diluted bleach solution. We have to transfer 25 cubic centimeter to this conical flask. So this conical flask, this has 25 cubic centimeter diluted bleach solution. Then we have to add sulfuric acid. Then we have to add potassium iodide. Potassium iodide will give us iodine due to which color of this liquid will be brown. Then we have to add sodium thiosulfate. When we add sodium thiosulfate, it's brown color, which was because of iodine that would disappear. Now we have iodine. So all these things they have mentioned in these points, which I try to explain by making that picture. The student uses 33.54 cubic centimeter of sodium thiosulfate solution. Density of original bleach solution is 1.20 gram per cubic centimeter. First, I am going to solve this part. Let me erase a few things. Okay, guys, mass of bleach in original solution, which is 10 cubic centimeter. So it means volume is, I can say volume is 10 cubic centimeter, volume of bleach solution. Density is 1.20 gram per cubic centimeter. So if I have to find mass, you know, mass is equals to density times volume. Density is 1.20, volume is 10. So when I multiply these two values, I would get what I would get guys I would get mass which would be 10 gram so this is mass of bleach that is easy part the most challenging part which we're gonna solve now is match mass of bleach in 100 cubic centimeter to find this we need moles when I say bleach it means I am talking about sodium chlorate and here they have given a sodium chlorate in this form, ionic form, chlorate ion. So guys, here you can see the concentration of sodium thiosulfate solution is given. Let's see how we, how we solve it. I, I will also show you the mark scheme. 
so volume of sodium thiosulfate is given concentration of sodium thiosulfate is given so what i gonna do first i find moles of sodium thiosulfate then i use the moles of sodium thiosulfate to find the moles of iodine then i use to find the mole then i use the then i will use the moles of iodine to find out the moles of clo negative chloride ion then i convert which is bleach then i convert this into mass then i put the value here so this would be the scheme so it means first i need to find moles of sodium thiosulfate this is sodium thiosulfate so it's how can i find it moles yes it's quite easy because its concentration is given its volume is given so first convert this volume into cubic decimeter so you need to do what you need to do divide this by thousand when i divide this by thousand i would be getting 0.0335 0.0335 so moles is equals to concentration times volume concentration is 0 0.100 times volume is 0 0.0335 so moles would be i am solving it by using calculator it's important to use calculator moles would be 3.35 times 10 is to power minus 3 now see here guys what you can see here is let's compare these two things sodium thiosulfate thiosulfate ion and iodine yes i can see here according to balanced chemical equation two mole thiosulfate ion which which basically sodium thiosulfate two moles sodium thiosulfate and there is one mole iodine it means mole of iodine would be half so I can say if moles of sodium thiosulfate is 3.35 times 10 raised to power minus 3, it means moles of iodine should be half of it. 3.35 times 10 raised to power minus 3 divided by 2. So when we divide this by 2, I would be getting 1.675 times 10 raised to power minus 3. This is the mole of iodine. Now guys comes here. To find the mole of sodium chloride, compare sodium chloride with iodine. You will see here sodium chlorate or chloride ion versus iodine. This is one ratio one. So or better to write like that. Iodine in comparison with chlorate. Anything that is confusing, don't hesitate to ask me in comment section or you can contact me personally. Iodine, this is one mole, this is one mole. So if iodine is 1.675 times 10 raised to power minus 3 moles, ClO negative would be 1.675 times 10 to power minus 3 moles. This is basically sodium chlorate. So I can say moles of sodium chlorate is 1.675 10 raised to power minus 3. Guys, this is the moles of sodium chlorate in 25 cubic centimeter. Now, but we have to find moles of sodium chlorate in 25, not in 25, in 100 cubic centimeter. So it means if I multiply 25 with 4, I would be getting 100 cubic centimeter. Similarly, moles of sodium chlorate in 25 cubic centimeter is this. It means moles of sodium chlorate, moles of sodium chlorate in 100 cubic centimeter is 4 times of this. So multiply this with 4. When you multiply this with 4, answer would be 6.7 times 10 raised to power minus 3 so again moles of sodium chlorate in 100 cubic centimeter need to do the last thing is you know sodium chlorate its molar mass comes out to be if you calculate its molar mass it's that would be 74.5 so find out mass of sodium chlorate 
in 100 cubic centimeter. How to find mass? Simply multiply moles with MR, molar mass. Mole is 6.7 times 10 is to power minus 3. Molar mass is 74.5. Answer would be 0.499 gram. So this is the mass of sodium chlorate in 100 cubic centimeter. Final answer, put this in here. Come to this formula, percentage by mass of sodium chloride. Mass of bleach in 100 cubic centimeter is 0 0.499. Mass of original bleach is 12 gram times 100. So here I have missed one thing, multiply this with 100 as well. So when you multiply this with 100, answer would be 4.16%. So this is your answer. So this is the questions. You can take it screenshot. Don't hesitate to contact me for one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons. Enjoy!